Welcome to another class in programming 8085. Today's program is arrange the given number in ascending order. Okay, so here first at double one double zero at location double one double zero we have the n value, right? N value can be anything. So whatever is the n value accordingly you have to give that many numbers and all those numbers has to be arranged in ascending order. This is the program, right? So in this particular example I have taken five numbers. So at double one double zero, I have my n value which is five. The values, the input values, I'm going to give from give it from double one zero one to double one zero five. So I'm going to give five numbers. All the five numbers has to be arranged in ascending order, right? So what is the logic? Is if you just to take a look at the program, we have three loops, right? Loop one, loop two, and loop three. Okay. So loop three actually is going to be the outermost loop. Loop three is going to be the outermost loop. So once the whole uh, all the numbers are arranged in ascending order, we are going to come out of the loop. The inner two loops, example, uh, for example, loop two, right? There is loop two, and also there is loop one. So what happens in these two loops is this acts like your for loop. For example, if it is a high level programming language, we use for i is equal to one to n, for j is equal to i plus one to n. There is an inner loop also. Right. Same way, what we are going to do is so look at our uh, look at the memory location. We are going to have 25, 42, 37, 16, and 9. So we will take the first number from location 1101, which is 21. Compare it with 42, 37, 16, and 9. Whichever is the smaller smallest number, that smallest number has to be stored at the location 1101. Okay, location 1101 is going to store the smallest number. Right. Then again, we are going to take 42, 37 or the number present in location 1102, compare it with 3, 4 and 5. Okay. The second smallest number should be stored at 1102. Third smallest number has to be stored in location 1103. Fourth smaller is 1104 and obviously the largest number is going to be stored in the location 1105. So, this is the logic we are going to follow for arranging these numbers in ascending order. For which we need two loops. Right. The first loop is going to say which number are you going to first, what is the first operand that is going to be compared with. Right. The second loop is going to uh, tell you what is the second operand which has to be compared. You understand? So if I go uh, show you the analysis, you will be able to understand how we are doing. Right. So this is the logic. So we are going to use compare command to compare the two values. So a of i and a of j will be compared using your compare command. Right. So let us see how it is happening. So you have seen the inputs, right? The first input is at double one double zero, which is your n value that is five. And I have other inputs from double one zero one to double one zero five. Right. For reference, I also have them as comment here in blue color. You can see all those are going to be your input values. Right. Let us go to the analysis part of it. It is actually a very very lengthy analysis what we are going to do now and like the other programs this analysis is going to be very very lengthy. Okay, let us start from line number 2. LDA 1100 load the contents of 1100 into your accumulator. The contents of 1100 is 5 that is your n value I am loading it in my accumulator. Right move a comma I am sorry move b comma a which means a has to be moved to right a value is 5 we are moving that to b. Right, decrement B. First itself, we are decrementing B. Okay, next LXI H comma double one double zero. Right, at double one double zero, whatever value stored that has to be now present in M. Right, so LXI H comma double one double zero means double one double zero is going to be stored in HL register pair. Okay, and the contents of double one double zero is going to be your m value as well as i change the value of the hl register pair i have to say what is my m so that is that is what we have been doing now also double one double zero is my hl pairs contents which means my m value will be five right so m value is going to be five move c comma m which means the m value has to be moved to register c so m value is five i am moving it to register c Okay. So, here C is going to be your innermost loop which is for J loop. B is going to be your outer loop which is for I loop. Okay. So, you look at it like that, it will be very very easy, simple to follow. 
right so what i have done i have moved c comma m m has been moved to c right next line itself i am decrementing c I'm decrementing the c value i n x h means increment the h l register pair double one zero one i n x h at line number eight i have, in, I have said it is incremented so my h l register pairs value is going to be double one zero one the contents of double one double zero one immediately has to be in your memory so that is nothing but 20 right so it's going to be 20 right? so as soon as i incremented i have to move next line line number nine i have to move a comma m so my m value is 21 i have to move it to a right now what we will do we have to compare the accumulator and the memory is what we will be doing you understand so move a to m so m a now contains 21 again line number 10 inx h Double one zero two. I N X H double one zero two. So your M value becomes forty two, right? Your M value becomes forty two. Compare M. Compare forty two with twenty one. Okay. Compare M. Line number eleven. Compare M means you have to compare forty two with A value. If A is less than M, carry flag will be set. If A is greater than M, there won't be any carry. Right? So, we are only wanted looking for only two cases whether there is a carry or there is no carry. When there will be a carry, when A is less than M, there will be a carry. In this case, A is 21, M is 42. So, A is less than M, which means the carry flag is going to be set. The carry flag is going to be set in this case after comparing. Right? JC jump when there is a carry to loop. If there is a carry, you have to skip all these lines and jump to line number 18 where you have loop 1. Okay. what we said jump on carry to line number 18 so we have to now move to jump to line number 18 before that i will tell you why are we doing that see our aim is to keep the lowest number right we have to keep the lowest number at location 1101 is our aim as of now 21 is in 1101 42 is in 1102 we compared and saw 21 is a smaller number so we don't want to make any changes in case our m value is going to be less than a then that less value has to go to that particular location so that you get the ascending order property that is why so we have to make sure that our m value whichever value we are taking at that particular point has to be less than your okay, always uh, your accumulator has to be more than m value which means if m value is less it has to be moved to the accumulator if m value is less in any case it has to be moved to the accumulator and stored at that particular location is the logic of the program that's why we are always making sure if a is less than m no problem if m is less only then the we have to do some changes right we will see other cases how it is then you will come to know what happens as of now a is less than m there will be a carry on carry we have to jump to loop one which is at line number 18 okay there what are we doing we have to decrement c c has to become three right okay c is going to become three if c is going to be zero then come out of that loop but c is not equal to 0 so jump on no 0 to loop it is not 0 so we are going to jump to loop 2 which is line number 9 okay is that line number 9 now move m to a what is there in m okay in m we have 42 so we are going to move that to a now a becomes 42 right inxh we are going to be double one zero three as soon as i increment hl register pair i have to change the value of register m so it becomes 37 double one zero three it is 37 right so i incremented h so i have moved that value also now compare m and so compare 37 and 42 42 is greater than 37 42 is greater than 37 32 is the smaller number so now memory is smaller that has to be moved now let us see how it is moved how are, how are we going to change the order we will see now right since a is greater than m a is 42 m is 37 since a is greater than m what we will do there will be a a is greater than m okay so no carry there won't be any carry if there is a carry we have to jump to loop one if there is no carry you have to go to the next line so line number 13 there is no carry we are going to move to line number 13 m has to be moved to d the m value here is 37 we are going to do a swapping now m has to be moved to d a has to be moved to m 
right so m is nothing but the contents of double one zero three now a has to be moved here so this becomes forty two yes so decrement h okay decrement h your hl register value will be double one zero two that is where your pointer is pointer is pointing to that that i have decremented so my pointer will be pointing to double one zero two right move m comma d so d value which is 37 has to be moved to your memory as of now memory is going to be double one zero two so i am moving 37 here what i did yeah i have swapped the values if i look if you just look at m value it was 42 and then it was 37 now we have swapped it so that we get them in ascending already you can see a, a slight ascending order is maintaining maintained there right so that is what we have done okay so this is done we have moved the d value to m now we are incrementing to the next value Incre increment h so 1104 whose contents also should be noted down that is your now current m value is 16 okay so inx h is done dcrc so becomes to the inner loop we are trying to close the inner loop now right so if it is not zero you have to jump to loop two it is not zero i am jumping to loop two in loop two i have move a comma m so m value has to be moved to m value 16 i have moved to a so i'm going to say inx h which means it is going to be double one zero five right double one zero five whose contents is nine now okay its contents is going to be nine now right so i have to compare nine and sixteen right compare 9 and 16 a is if a is less than m then there will be a carry but a is greater than m so there is no carry if there is a carry you can jump to loop one if since there is no carry what is it you are supposed to do you have to do all these changes so move d comma m okay so now current m value has to be moved to d right whatever is the a has to be moved to m what is the a a is 16 so i am moving it to m right i am decrementing h which means uh, my pointer will be pointing to 1104 now right i have to move d's value to m d value is 9 i'm moving it into m yes i'm moving it into m increment h right i have to increment h now right so 1106 my h decrement c c has become yes so this is what has happened now what i have done is i have completed with the innermost loop one to five is done right so i will again go yes i will go here and i have to again perform the same value but in this case it is going to be zero so whatever you perform there will be no change you have to again come to this so you will compare here after comparing carry will be there because a value is zero now if this contents of this is zero right so it's going to become zero so you will obviously come here you are decrementing c when you decrement c what happens c becomes zero now we are finished with the inner loop okay now we have to decrement the outer loop so four now becomes three right again the same process is going to be followed again so this becomes three then you have to compare it with three two one zero okay then what we will do we will decrement b this becomes two again the whole thing is going to be for compared with 2 1 and then this is going to become 1 you are going to do the comparison for 1 and 0 okay then this has to be decremented it becomes 0 so we are finished with the program we will come out of the loop okay so what i have explained to you is the first value double one zero one now after at the end of the first loop say for example first we started b from 4 okay when b becomes 3 we would have already found the lowest number would have come to this particular location we are finding the lowest number and that has to come to that particular location and so on so what happens this 9 will be in this particular location then there will be 16 and so on 21 37 42 this is how the order is going to be arranged at the end of all these things you understand so this is what we are trying to do the ascending order okay so let me execute the program for you right let's see line by line execution we will see whatever we did now whether it is going to be reflecting so it's, it's the same thing right so you can keep checking your values register b and c right so this is how it is happening line by line yes 
what I, I want to show you is see the B and C values. So C alone it is decrementing. Why? Because that is going to be your innermost loop you are comparing. So whatever we did manually, same thing we are it is happening here. You can see that. So B alone will be uh, constant. It will be 4 only. C will become 0 now. Once it is become 0, it will come out of the loop. Then this becomes 3. Can you see B value now? 3. Right? So C value also will start from that. Right? 5, 4, right? 3, 2, 1. So whatever I did now, the same thing will be repeated for all the values of B also. So B will be first 4, then 3, then 2, then 1. Okay, C is now 0. Now B will decrement into 2. Can you see that the same thing is going to be happening? Right? So in the process, you can see that right in the whole process when b becomes 0 you would be having your what number lowest number or smallest number will be at location double one double zero see b is now one b will become zero the moment b becomes zero you can see that the lowest number will be at location double one zero one see nine is there at location double one zero one right sixteen is at location double one zero two but where is the difference at location double one zero four and five it is ulta so that has to change so that will happen when b value becomes zero right yeah b value has now become zero now that is changed also so you have 37 32. right the last one to change what i mean to say is the last one to change will be your double one zero four and double one zero five right you will end the loop so the whole ascending order is complete now you have to come to loop number line number 21 okay and then you have to come out of the that is the last thing we will do right so we have to do the same thing for all the numbers whatever we did now for the first number will be happening for all the numbers so again your b is going to start from 3 to 1 again to 2 1 the last one will be with 1 okay, this is how your program is going to right So we have finished executing. So both inner loop and outer loop has completed the execution. We have halted the program. Right. Okay. Now the same program can be converted into a descending order program. How? The same like your largest and smallest program only. Same program can be converted into your descending order program. What will you do if it is ascending, which is smaller to largest number small number to the largest number in that case you will use jc here jc here is when there is carry jump on carry if you change it into jnc then this becomes your descending order program okay so we will see how that is happening so we are going to go to the descending order program now right it is the same program, no change at all. Only change you have to make here is you have to do J and C to make it a descending order program. Yes, it has to be J and C. Same program I have copied here and it is now your descending order program. Can you see that 9, 16, 21, 37, 42? After I execute, it became 42, 37, 21, 16 and 9. This is your descending order program. Same logic, everything is going to be very similar. Only thing instead of saying JC, jump when there is a carry, you are going to say jump when there is no carry. If there is carry, come to the next line. If you do that, that becomes your descending order. You understand? Hope you understand the logic of the program, how it is written. Right? So, this program can be used to arrange the given set of numbers in ascending order. And also, this the other program can be used to arrange the set of numbers in descending order. Hope you have understood the program. Please do execute the program. Thank you.